Hi, welcome to Inventor 2020 video tutorial. I want to do that screw strap exercise in Inventor. And despite my worries, it went quite well. So let's have fun with Inventor. So let's start with a sketch on the XY plane. And that might look something like this. Add some dimensions. This might be 20. This might be 14.5. That distance might be seven and this might be 32.5. Finish that sketch. Of course, I could do a center line in the sketch, so I will go for a center line in the sketch. So make a center line right there, maybe 50. Finish that sketch and now let's make a revolve. So that's a new window. You have to go for surfaces and one axis is recognized, 360 degrees and confirm. Now I need a plane, so go for a plane with a distance to the YZ plane in this direction. And the distance should be 115 minus 65 divided by 2. Let's put a sketch on that plane. And this might look something like this. Now let's see if that's... No, that's new. You can now see what will happen if that's horizontal or vertical. So that's wrong, so I have to go for vertical, and then you see it's okay. Dimension should be 45. That dimension might be 29.9, and this should be 7.9. Now the problem is I cannot select one line of one sketch, so I will put those two for construction. Finish that sketch. Let's make an extrude with that line, but the other way around. And the distance should be 42.5 and OK. Next sketch on the YZ plane. And I want to use project geometry or you could go for project cut edges. So I will go for project geometry and I will project this one, that one and this one. Let's put those two for construction. Finish that sketch. Let's make an extrude. It's an open profile so it will go for surfaces automatically and go for 30 millimeters. And OK. 
And then I want to do a loft from this edge to that edge. And it should be a surface. I don't need rails. No preview, that's okay. Then stitch those together. This one, that one, and this one. Apply. Done. Now go for fillet. 50 millimeters on this edge and that edge. Okay. Then I need an offset surface to go for thicken offset. Go for surface. I want a quilt to be offsetted. And the direction should be the other way around. Yes, and it should be 7 millimeter. Then another sketch on the top plane, and that would be the X set plane, a rectangle. Should be 12 wide. I want it to be symmetric, so let's see if we can use vertical or horizontal. That would be okay. So this point and that midpoint should be aligned. And I want to project this edge, but only for construction purposes, into my sketch. There it is. And then put this line collinear onto that projected one. Finish that sketch and make an extrude and of course it should be not a volume, a solid, it should be a surface and maybe 40 millimeter. Okay, nice. Let's hide that plane. There you go. And maybe hide the first surface body as well. Let's trim. Go for trim. The tool would be that face. Remove this side. Apply. Next tool will be that one. Remove this side. Apply. Now the tool would be this surface and then remove this one apply once again the same tool remove that on the inside apply and cancel this out looks good let's see that's okay so stitch this one and that surface apply and done let's show our surface one and maybe just maybe make that surface this one not translucent so it's better to see what happens Go for a trim, select this as tool and I want to remove that on the inside, apply. Same tool, this one and now remove this one completely, yeah, looks good and okay. Maybe let's make this one also not translucent. Now let's trim this one with that surface. So go for trim 
the tool would be this one and I want to move that part right here okay nice now let's stitch those two so for stitch this one and that one apply and done so the new surface this one make it like this it's better visible now i want to do a sweep therefore i will need that sketch and think that was sketch three so that's one of the extrusions sketch four is this one sketch four so that structure is kind of annoying sketch two sketch three make it visible and share it i need that line so let's go for a new sketch on the y set plane and let's include or project that line finish that sketch I don't need this one I need just that one so does this belong to the same sketch or not let's make this invisible now go for a sweep the profile would be that line and I need these edges as path okay so let's see if we can mirror that sweep this one or you could do another sketch and a new sweep but let's go for mirror mirror i want to mirror that face with that plane okay and then stitch this one this one and that one so that's interesting it's it's mirrored it's and it's not at that spot that's crazy oh i think i forgot to center one of those sketches that's why so that would be the second sketch this sketch it's not centered okay so let's make it visible and edit it yeah i forgot to center this one so i have to go for horizontal in this orientation and this point should be aligned with that one finish that sketch and now it's okay let's go for a stitch this one that one and this one apply and done now maybe make that one not translucent and now i want to trim maybe make that sketch invisible this one now go for a trim i want to use that surface 
as tool and I want to remove this part apply then use this one again as tool and now I want to remove this and that okay great stitch this apply and done maybe make it not translucent and now I could go for the fillets so where's my fillet there fillet first should be four this edge and that edge apply this edge apply then go for five on that edge apply four again on this edge apply and five on this one and of course on that one and again i will leave those holes up to you use just sketches with circles on that face on that face or you could use the plane as well and i'm done so i hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fame page would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well so thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye